Uh, Nicholas says, I have a question regarding adding a group to a team. From what I know, you need to be owner of the team that you are adding the group to. Also, users in that group is added one by one. So is that not dynamic? We have several security groups, mail-enabled distribution lists, et cetera, synced to Office 365. What is the best way to do this? The same group is also needed to add as a group permissions to a SharePoint site. I would like to use on-prem created type of group sync to Office 365, but what is the best way here? I'm ahead to spin it. Hmm. To spin it. Um, so um, originally when we got this question, we had talked about, um, I had put some notes in here, uh, you can sync groups so you can essentially take your m365 group and your on-prem ad group whether that's dynamic or static and you can actually sync those via powershell so that you can basically make whoever's in that group be in the other group um and but there is a brand new release that nested groups are now going to be supported in public preview um so you'll be able to have groups within groups as well uh in the cloud but if they've got an on-prem create uh, on-prem like AD group or an on-prem security group, and they want to sync it with their M365 group, um, there there is an option to be able to sync those groups together as well. Um, I've seen that done at a lot of my clients. Is that nested group functionality? Is that is that a preview going on right now, or is that just announced? Um, it says it's now supported in public preview. Okay, all right. And I put the link in there for you to share out. Excellent. Mike, any other wisdom to share there on AD sync? No, no, not really. I mean, if it's in Active Directory, it's going to sync into AD, which is going to be brought into 365 because that's what, you know, the back end of 365 is. The problem is that in regular and what I mean by regular, I mean on-premises AD, is that <clears throat> you can run into a lot of problems when you have multiple nested groups, um, when you're dealing with LDAP queries and applications that require uh, authentication and things like that. So it really gets messy when you start to nest too far. And I think there's actually a limit on nesting. I think it actually mm -hmm. is, uh, limit is like under 20 or something like that. I mean, it's it's not very large. Um, or it used to be anyways. Um, so I, I, you know, I'm not a fan of nesting groups. Uh, I'm more of a fan of just, you know, breaking out the groups and having them, you know, stand alone. Much simpler, keeps your AD a lot cleaner. Mm. There also are um, like some fields that don't like to come across from on-prem AD to um, Azure AD as well, I've noticed. Uh, unless unless you can, there's a way around that. I mean, you can do custom mappings, right? So you can set up custom mappings between uh, on-prem AD and AAD, um, but you have to go in and define each one of those. You have to go uh -huh. in and create the custom the custom field. You have to match the two up. It's kind of like, you know, matching up cells, you know, that when you're doing an export in Excel, you know, you have to match up all that stuff. You have to do the same thing in AD. All that is to say, be forewarned if you're going to be connecting things and syncing things from on-prem to in the cloud, there's always always some extra special stuff you need to double check. Yeah, well, and some folks, you know, get out, they'll put, they'll create things in M365. <clears throat> I ran into this where they go out and they create things in M365, right? Because they don't know anything about Azure AD, which is, you know, well, that's fine. Um, but they go in and create things, users and teams and groups and, you know, shared mailboxes, you know, you name it. Everybody has to understand that those are AD objects. Those are all things that are put into AAD. The problem is, is that <clears throat> some people are still using older versions of AAD Sync, right? Uh, which used to be called AD Connect. And that is uh, actually doesn't, it only syncs one way. Okay, so it only goes from on-prem to the cloud or they turned off the uh, the reverse, okay? Uh -huh. So they, they don't want anything updating their on-prem AD, they just wanna populate the cloud AD. Well, the problem is when they created all this stuff up in the cloud, it was never brought down on-prem. And people were like, well, it's syncing. How come I can't see it in both places? Well, because you either turned it off or you're using an old version that doesn't support it. 
So, you know, those are things to keep in mind. They shouldn't they shouldn't be using the old version, but you can still turn it off via registry hack. And, you know, and I don't know why you would, but some folks want things to be that way. Let me just say that um, talking about Active Directory is one of the most exciting topics. <laughs> It's just Way because my, my it's, head. it's because I kept my I, hair slick so that I didn't have to worry with the technical is that questions. Sarcasm? Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Christian, Me? Is that, is that what? because I'm? Is that because I'm talking about it, or would you be interested? It's always it? about you. I, I and know. the other thing is too, well, Mike, when you when you. With you. Let me just say also, I was going to call you out, Mike, when you said, and so for people to create those other things, Microsoft, and that's okay. And I was about to say, it's like, there's such contempt in that voice. There. <laughs> uh, just a little bit. Yeah. Just a, just a little bit. <laughs>